I am John Diaz, and I'm the artistic director of the Two River Theater up in Red Bank. Uh, and, whoa, thank you. Uh, when I heard that this year's TEDx conference was on the subject of identity, I thought we have something really quite special that I thought we could share with you. Um, so rehearsing in our theater right this very minute, uh, as you were just told, is, an, is a brand new musical uh, that I have loved for many years. It's called The Ballad of Little Joe. It's based on the true story of a remarkable woman named Josephine Monahan, who lived in a frontier Idaho mining town at the end of the 19th century. And the reason we know about her is because for most of her adult life, which she spent mining for silver and then being a stunt rider in a Wild West show, nobody knew that she was actually a woman. It was only upon her death in 1904 that the true identity of Cowboy Joe, as she was called, was revealed. We don't know too much about the motivations of the real Josephine Monahan, why she went to Idaho or why she chose to live as she did, but her story inspired the writers Sarah Schlesinger and Mike Reed to examine those questions and imagine some answers. In the gorgeous musical that they wrote, Josephine begins her story as a headstrong, independent young woman who is setting off on her own to San Francisco, intending to bring a new life for herself and for the infant child she bore out of wedlock back in Boston. When Josephine is forced to make an unexpected stop in Idaho, she is attacked and raped by two soldiers. She's forced to wear men's clothing to hide from them, and without any money, she goes in disguise to Silver City for what she thinks is a temporary stay, but ends up lasting over 18 years. The bold, optimistic Josephine Monahan is a person she can no longer be, and the tough, protective Mr. Joe is born. Over the course of those years, she lives discreetly, and makes a couple of good friends, namely the handsome miner Jordan, with whom she secretly falls in love, and his wife Sarah, whom Jordan loves like crazy, but Sarah, of course, holds a torch, unwisely, for Joe. For 18 years, Joe never reveals her true identity, until, that is, she provides refuge to a Chinese man, Tin Man Wong, who is unwelcome in the town because of his race another outcast, another person with secrets, he can actually see right through the taciturn cowboy that Joe pretends to be. And for the first time in all these years, Joe is in the wonderful, terrible, vulnerable position of sharing her true self with another person. And for Joe, this intimate connection with Tin Man is even more vulnerable and frightening because it means stepping back into the woman she was, the woman who was hidden away and buried after that terrible act of violence. The song that you're about to hear, Unbuttoning the Buttons, captures this moment for Joe. Tin Man has just told her that he knows who she is. He tenderly kisses her, then sends her before him to her bedroom alone to undress. I remember when I first heard this song. Sarah and Mike have been working on this musical for, for a while, and back in the beginning of the creation of it, in the mid-90s it was, they had just a few songs written and this was one of them. The gay civil rights movement was at its height in this country and all kinds of people were talking about coming out. And this song suddenly felt to me like an anthem, a, a great metaphor for all of us who confront the fear, the heartbreak, and yes, the liberation when we finally choose to live our true identities. So to sing a song like this, you need an actress who can capture all the facets of the complex, con contradictory, wonderful Josephine Monaghan. Luckily, we have exactly that in the magnificent Teal Wicks. I'd like to welcome out Teal and our fantastic musical director, John O'Neill. I hope you enjoy the song. And like the gentleman said, please come up to Red Bank and see the show with us. Uh, performances start on June 3rd, and we run through the end of the month. Thank you. I welcome out Teal and John.
Josephine. 